Howdy everybody, David here, and this is another Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition Archetype Breakdown. And in this particular breakdown, we're going to take a look at the Wizard's new archetype, the Blade Singer. And this is out of the, the new Sword Coast Adventures Guide. And the Blade Singer was a very popular class that was in Dungeons & Dragons 4th Edition. And it's good to see that that you know, this archetype for the wizard, this arcane tradition, is pulled over into D&D 5th edition. So, whenever you start a character in D&D 5th edition, you will choose one of the 12 core classes, whether it be a cleric, a druid, a fighter, or in this case, the wizard. Now, when you choose the wizard, you will level from levels 1 to 20 and you can see the wizard uh, will get the proficiency bonus like every other class in 5e. It is universal. And you won't particularly get something every single level, but you will, for the most part, every other level, uh, get some sort of feature for the wizard. Uh, you're going to get spell casting at level 1. You're going to get arcane recovery. You'll get uh, uh, your ability score improvement, which allows you to up your ability scores or take optional feats if your dungeon master allows them. Uh, also, you can take spell mastery later on and get your signature spell. Now, as for your spells, the wizard is one of the, the traditional types of casters in D&D, and you will get your cantrips, which are your free cast. Those don't cost you anything. You can cast those every single round if you'd like to. Then, as you can see, at first level, you'll get your spell casting, where you start with two first level slots, and as you level, uh, every level, you'll just gain more and more and more spell slots, which, you know, towards the middle and later levels, you'll have such an array of magic to choose from. Now, in Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, every class has uh, archetypes, or subclasses, and these archetypes, they add flavor onto the class that you're playing. So, for instance, the wizard here, there's all kinds of different archetypes, uh, whether it be necromancy or every school of magic being divination, evocation, abjuration, subjuration, and for this particular archetype, we're going to be taking a look at the blade singer. Now, the Blade Singer has a restriction, and it is you have to be an elf. All right. So when you are a Blade Singer and you want to, you have to be an elf, and you basically bravely defend your people, the elves, and their lands. You know, these Blade Singers are elf wizards who master a school of sword fighting grounded in a tradition of arcane magic. In combat, a Blade Singer uses a series of intricate, elegant maneuvers that fend off harm and allow the Blade Singer to channel magic into devastating attacks and a cunning defense. So, like I said, they have to be elves only, or a half elf. But your DM can lift this restriction. You know, it even it even says down here the DM can lift this restriction to better suit the campaign. So it's up to the DM ultimately. If you don't like playing an elf, if you want to play another race, just check with your dungeon master. I'm I'm sure your dungeon master probably would not have any kind of problem doing that unless they were actually one for being a real stickler with the lore of the Forgotten Realms. So with you know, like this for this blade singer, this adds extra flavor on to the wizard class. And like I said, you've, you're already going to get an array of of abilities, class features, all that good stuff. And at level two, you're going to get to choose this arcane tradition. And every every class, you know, with this flavor, their archetypes, they get to choose. You know, like you're choosing the blade singer. And for example, some other classes they get their archetypes at level one, like the cleric, the sorcerer, the warlock. Some classes have to wait till level three, like the rogue or the fighter. But the the wizard, they get they only have to wait till level two. So when you choose this blade singing. You're also going to get training in war and song, and this is what you're going to get when you actually ad adopt the feature. And I'm sorry for kind of skipping this because I got super excited with Blade Song. Uh, so whenever you're level two, 
and you get this arcane, you know, your arcane tradition, Blade Singer, you're going to get proficiency with light armor. You're also going to get proficiency with with a, a one type one type of one-handed melee weapon of your choice. So if you want a, if you want a club, if you want a rapier, if you want a longsword, anything that is one-handed, a scimitar, anything like that, you will get proficiency with that one weapon type. All right, and you'll also gain proficiency in the performance skill if you do not already have that proficiency. So you'll get this base uh, training in war and song. And this is, you know, when you get the archetype, you get to, you get proficiency in light armor, and one proficiency in one one-handed weapon of your choice. And don't forget, you're also going to gain proficiency in performance if you don't already have it. You are going to get at level two th your bread and butter for being a blade singer. You're going to get blade song, and this is where you invoke a secret elven magic called the blade song provided that you are not wearing now there's some stipulations that you you cannot be wearing any kind of medium armor you cannot be wearing any heavy armor you cannot be using a shield and if you if you meet those requirements it allows you to cast this ancient blade song this ancient elven magic and this will grace you with the supernatural speed agility and focus so you can use a bonus action to begin your blade song and it'll last for one minute it ends early if you are incapacitated if you don any kind of medium heavy armor or shield or if you use two hands to make an attack with a weapon such as a, a two-handed great sword or a great maul. Now you can also dismiss the blade song at any time you choose and that does not require any action. So I like how they want to make sure that you're in you know your light armor and I, I like how when you use blade song it will basically nullify itself out if you start to break any of the rules which is really nice I like that so what are the benefits of this blade song which is the bread and butter of you being a, a, a you know a blade singer you're gonna gain a bonus to your armor class equal to your intelligence modifier so that's gonna be a big boost because intelligence is your primary stat and you will gain quite a bit of an AC bonus to your int modifier probably up to a plus six over time your walking speed is also going to be increased by 10 feet so if you're playing a wood elf that has 35 walking speed you will add 10 more feet with blade song to be 45 feet while blade song is active you are also going to have advantage on dexterity acrobats checks you're also going to gain a bonus to any constitution saving throw you make to maintain your concentration on a spell. And then the bonus is going to equal your intelligence modifier. Meaning, uh, if you take damage, you would have to make a constitution saving throw based off of the damage. Uh, and you would, you know, use this intelligence modifier to add this to your constitution saving throw to make sure that you continually keep your concentration if you are using a spell with concentration and then you can use this feature blade song two times and you regain all expended uses of blade song after you finish a short or long rest so that's really nice especially for a short rest because a long rest sometimes it could could take a little while maybe you would get interrupted so it's nice to see that blade song refreshes with a short rest so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, at level 6 you'll get extra attack which is really nice and this is starting at 6th level and this is where you're going to be able to attack twice instead of once whenever you take the attack action on your turn so whenever you take the attack action you'll attack with your sword and then or whatever weapon you choose and then you can attack again alright so the next feature you're gonna get is song of defense and this is going to be at level 10 and this is where you're going to be able to direct your magic to absorb damage while your blade song is active 
So when you take damage, and it seems like any kind of damage, whether it be ranged, melee, or spell damage, you can use your reaction, as long as you have one, to expend one spell slot and reduce that damage to you by an amount of equal to five times the spell slot's level. So, th meaning this, if you get hit with any kind of damage, you go ahead and use Song of Defense. You use, say you take 25 damage. You can now expend and use your reaction to expend the spell slot and reduce that 25 damage. If you want to reduce it all, then you would go ahead and reduce it by 25 and you would do that by using a fifth level spell slot because it equals five times the spell slots level so you could negate that all that 25 of that damage by expending a fifth level spell slot you'd negate all 25 so and especially for a wizard this is beautiful because the wizard you have a ton of spell slots to use, especially the higher level you get. So this is just more damage that Song of Defense is going to mitigate for you. As long as you have your reaction saved every round, you can basically eat all this damage up and barely dip into your hit point pool, which your hit point pool is going to be low in the first place because you only get a 1d6 uh, as, a, as a wizard. So Song of Defense is really nice. Coupled with, you know, Blade Song, this is pretty much your your bread and butter combo right here. And then last but not least, you're going to get Song of Victory at level 14. And this is where you're going to add your Intelligence modifier to the damage of your melee weapon attacks while your Blade Song is active. So if you're going to be using a finesse weapon, you would be using Dexterity or strength, whatever's higher. If you're going to be using a scimitar, uh, that would also be finesse. I think scimitar, scimitar is finesse. But if you use a, a more traditional type of sword, like a long sword, which is strength based, then you would just use strength. So you really have to plan this out with your your ability scores and your starting abilities. That you know your starting ability scores and your ability score improvements. How you raise them and level, but. Intelligence is definitely your most important score, and you want to make sure that that's always going to stay your highest stat. And, you know, you're going to be able to add this intelligence modifier. Unfortunately, you have to wait till level 14. Uh, so, you know, if you are using that longsword, you'll be able to use strength and intelligence for the bonus damage instead of just strength. Or if you're using, uh, if your dex is better, and if you're using a finesse weapon, then you would use dexterity and intelligence for the base damage. Really nice. Uh, I, I do like it. It kind of sucks that you got to wait till 14, but hey, at least you're getting some bonus damage, right? And the great thing is, is you don't have to wait later because a lot of these archetypes, the classes have to wait for a higher level than 14. You know, take for instance, I believe the Paladin, their last archetype is at level 20. Some classes are level 18. So the Wizard, only has to wait till 14, which is nice. So there you go, everybody. What do you guys think about the new arcane tradition to Blade Singer for the Wizard? I like it. I think it has a lot of potential. So tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, take it easy and good gaming.